I'm going to use this uh, and try to use them. As the recipe can go perfectly well with a normal Spanish fire as well. Welcome back to Honey Time again. Um, I am going to show you uh, Spanish fire with a twist. Uh, vegetarian and vegan gluten free. Uh, not gluten free because we have uh, pearl barley. Um, I'm going to use this plant pioneers grown delicious uh, chorizo shroom dogs and try to use them as chorizos for the Spanish fire. So let's start cooking. I have everything ready here. The diced onions, uh, chopped carrots, diced tomatoes, um, red peppers, sliced garlic. Uh, these are the plant pioneers. Um, chorizo sausages uh, which I will show you how, how it's to be used and these are pearl barley so instead of the rice or the paya rice I'm going to use the pearl barley uh, these are unwashed and these are the washed and soaked for at least three hours so these are perfectly well to go in the Spanish fire in the meanwhile let me prep this courgette This recipe can go perfectly well with a normal Spanish pie as well, with, with this basically chorizo, chicken and uh, prawns. I'm doing this for vegan, so obviously I can't use any meat or seafood. So these are the sausages. Oh, they do smell like chorizo sausages. Have them large chunks. So there's less chances of breaking and splitting in the paella or on the pan. Kay is not with me today, so uh, she will join me in the next uh, recipe. These are very good mushrooms and I often find them in Saints Free Shelves and disappear very quickly. So. Yeah, I cut them in large chunk size. Always try to cut the mushrooms with the stem here so the cup remains while cooking, it doesn't split into the rest of the food. The hob is on. This is olive oil. I'm going to just squirt some oil into it. I always use a generous amount of olive oil in most of my cooking. I have everything ready here. Okay, for some reason the hob, hob wouldn't work. I think it was the weight of the pan. Okay, let's start with this. Um, the olive oil is hot enough and I'm just going to quickly sear or color them. Vegetarian. Or vegan. The idea is not to let them stick to the bottom. You see, you want this lightly brown color. You have to be very careful because it's got a lot of moisture in the sausages. It sizzles and probably sometimes burns uh, your hand or fingers. Okay, I think they are ready to come out. So we can put them back in the same bowl. We want this a bit of uh, burnt stuff because um, it adds a lot of flavor to The first thing I always do is I just brown the garlic. Don't be too worried about uh, the burnt bits here. All, all come out when you start to put onions in it. Onions got a lot of moisture in it and it invariably just soaks everything in it. The onions are ready to go in. There you go. I normally add 
the sea salt at this stage because it helps the onion to uh, saute better. Carrots. I'm going to cover and cook this for a while. Simmer. I'm going to add the mushrooms. on top, simmer. Mushroom tends to release a lot of moisture. You have to balance the moisture when you're adding uh, liquids to cook your rice or pearl barley in this case. Um, most of the rice dishes actually are even thick based gravies. The pearl barley. Okay, pearl barley. I've removed uh, extra liquid from it, and at this stage, uh, it's a gar garlic, onions, carrots, uh, shiitake mushrooms, and then the pearl barley. Remember, pearl barley is to be uh, washed uh, or rinsed and soaked for at least three hours. You might be wondering why I'm not putting the red pepper as yet because what happens is red pepper cooks very quickly so it's best to leave them at the end so it remains whole and you can basically maintain the crunchiness uh, in the final product. I'm also going to add the paprika at this stage. Uh, the paprika is as per your preference uh, if you like a bit of hot or heat into it you can add more you see it has scraped up all the bits from the beginning bottom of the pan Add the tomato. Don't forget we've already added salt to it, so you have to be very careful with the taste, the seasoning. I mean. You don't need to bother much about the uh, tomatoes melting in the pila because we want a bit of crunch into the pila so that's why I'm adding it after the pearl barley we'll give it a few seconds of closed cooking okay might find it sticking to the bottom but don't worry it's the starch from the barley and add the courgette and the red peppers Okay, at this stage, I'm going to add a bit of saffron to it. Good. 
unlike the rice pila um, where you have the ra uh, rice pila a bit of al dante it's not the same with uh, pearl barley you need to make sure it's cooked properly it also goes a bit uh, not not a bit a lot starchy almost like a risotto so you have to make sure you have enough liquids into it and in your plant-based chorizos We are halfway cooked to the vegan pila. I'm going to add a bit of crushed pepper. Pila should be ready in another 10 minutes. Let's continue cooking. Oh, and also um, be mindful. The pearl barley takes a lot of salt, so I have already added two teaspoon. I'm going to add one more teaspoon. Let's continue cooking. It takes a long time because it's not like the pile of rice which cooks very quickly it takes a long time for the pearl barley to soak in all the flavors and the liquids uh, which is, it's cooking in um, this is the stage where I um, add the parsley and I would like to tell you about parsley because sometimes you don't use uh, parsley when you buy it from uh, your supermarkets so what I do is normally I uh, just chop and freeze it and it's it's brilliant uh, it lasts longer it has a color and it retains the color and it's brilliant um, okay this is a stage I add the parsley to it um, stir it there you go it, it it's it's sensational it's it's smelling so nice it's making me so much hungry um, I can't wait to try this. Um, also, uh, I have all the ingredients and the quantities in the description below of this video. Uh, and also, I have given you some tips on how to cook um, the pearl barley, pearl barley um, in the juice because um, it will take a long time. But if you pressure cooker it, uh, there is a chance it could cook um, quicker than normal. Okay, let's start plating this now. So it is, um, this is how the consistency is. Uh, it should be like a risotto um, and it should be a bit juicy. I always like to keep um, my rice preparations or this new um, uh, twist to a Spanish paella uh, kind of dishes a bit wet. Um, okay, without uh, wasting much of time, let's start to present. Um, this is, you must try this recipe and uh, comment uh, below and let me know if you enjoyed this recipe. Um, I always have some grated parmesan. I know it, it's kind of an Italian thing, but you know, it's uh, what you enjoy. You know, go for it. So I hope uh, you enjoyed the video and um, well, I would like to call it um, a Spanish paella uh, with a twist. So uh, I would definitely like you all guys to uh, try this recipe. Please comment below if you liked it, if you uh, would like to request any more recipes. 
um, we have loads of recipe to um, video it for you guys uh, please like and subscribe um, I'm time honey time also caters for uh, private dining look forward to come with new recipes enjoy